Let's jump to the wall here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing Medieval 2. So we're actually getting quite a few saving and disaster battles for um, historical Total War games now, which is great. We haven't had any previously in like years. So we're playing as the Byzantine Empire, and we're dealing with the Pope. So for some reason, I don't know how this happens, very unusual I think, the Pope has left Italy to come and attack the Byzantine Empire. We're at uh, Macedonia here, at Thessalonica, although I think he's renamed the settlement to Sala, Saloniki. So our army is significantly smaller than his. Most of our forces are horse archers, which are good, don't get me wrong. But being outnumbered by a lot of spearmen can be an issue. We don't have enough ammunition to shoot their entire army, so a rout has to happen in order for us to win. And it's not like they've got no heavy cavalry either, so a lot of heavy cavalry to deal with there. Our reinforcements from the settlement here are nothing but Italian spear militia, or whatever the um, Byzantine version of it is. So we are outmatched in terms of um, melee infantry by a large margin. And they've also got the range advantage with the Pavis crossbowmen. So there's a lot of things working against us here. We're outpowered two to five. Let's jump in here and see what we can do. God will help the faithful prevail. We attack! Now in Medieval 2, you can definitely overcome these odds if you've got the right units. And we definitely have the right units. But this isn't the case where you can just... Oh, that's much nicer. Uh, you can just charge into the enemy and win straight away. We're going to have to really make use of every advantage we possibly can. So what I have learned with Medieval 2 is very different AI to Warhammer AI is that they tend not to react that much to horse archers and fast units if they see them running around, especially if they don't have much mobility themselves, which they don't. Because if, if their cavalry comes chasing after us, that's exactly what we want. What they're going to do instead is use their entire force, most of their force at least, to charge at our infantry. So what I want to do is get our infantry as far away over to the corner here as possible, which is where our reinforcements are coming from, and hold their ground there while these guys here deal with whatever gets left behind. Hopefully the Pope himself gets left behind because if we can kill that general, um, that will make it a lot easier for us to cause a rout. Now another thing that this will do is exhaust their melee infantry as they're coming in here so that as we're fighting them throughout the rest of the battle, they're going to be easier to route. So get these over here as quickly as possible. They'll be tired by the time they get there, but they gotta get there quick. Alright, we've got the high ground here, which is great. Take off skirmish mode, which is garbage. And let's just get some pot shots off them to begin with. You come round over here. Nice sunny day here. And we'll shoot at the Pavis crossbowmen. Because we've got the high ground advantage, which definitely helps. But we'll do these sort of hit and runs where we run back and hopefully get out of range before they shoot. Because they take a long time to reload. It's possible you can actually... Yeah, we did it. We outran their shots. <laughs> so they... Because they normally outrange us, right? But the high ground and the low ground is giving us a sort of equal 40. We still don't want them to shoot at us. They start reloading. We just basically shoot one shot and then run back. But what this is doing, it's similar to the technique what we do in Total War Warhammer with the enemy artillery, where we try to get them to lag behind so that they're just they're just here by themselves while the rest of the army just moves on. So that our general can charge in here and just get rid of them. Because these are one of the biggest threats for us in this battlefield. I need them standing still. Let's see how it's happening here. They're getting separated from the rest of their army. The rest of the, the melee infantry and stuff just don't give a crap about this. They haven't landed a single shot on us yet, which is exactly what we want. And we've killed 6% of their army. Not much, but it's been mostly for free. <laughs> the problem here is um, using up our ammunition. We need our ammo to kill the enemy general, but these are good horse archers. So we might just be able to do this and still have enough ammo to kill the enemy general. Okay, we are taking some casualties. Hard to dodge every single shot. It's honestly a miracle that we got this far without any... Okay, now, now we're really starting to take damage. Alright, you charge in over here now. Oh, they were going for the Italian militia there, but at least they should be, for the most part, avoiding their shields. Maybe I wasn't running back far enough. Hard to tell because we can't exactly see what their range is. Luckily in Medieval 2, this doesn't reduce the amount of ammunition we've got. So it does reduce their melee fighting potential for sure. 
Okay, they're heavily focused on the missile units here. And so here comes our general, and these guys can come down here as well. And let's mop up these... These crossbows. Alright, they had three Pavis crossbowmen. I might have actually shot one of them to death. Now they're... Okay, hang on. Alright, we have definitely got their attention now. 19%, okay. Man, the charges in Medieval 2 just feel so good, if you can get it off properly. It can be a bit janky of a game, but when you get a charge off and it just deletes an entire unit... No, 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 no. Okay, time to fire at will. Okay, mailed knights are faster than General's bodyguards, so we've got to be careful there. But these here, these are the exact units we want to be shooting. Okay, so... Oh, look at that, they're not actually that tired. Okay, get into skill trim over here. And you guys just hold your ground as best you can. Mailed knights are pretty a pretty balanced unit between heavy cavalry and light cavalry because they're not they don't hit as hard as the general's bodyguards or later type of knights, but they're pretty damn quick. How are you doing? Okay, yeah, you're still warmed up. These guys here a little bit tired. It's okay. This is an important unit to take out. Although our spearmen wouldn't do too bad against them if they would just rush at us. Which, they're still advancing towards our infantry, infantry line. Now, we could withdraw our infantry, but honestly, I, I think it's best if they stand their ground. Just do the best they can. They will, as soon as they route, leave the battlefield. And, and if any of them get captured, as long as we win, we get them back. Yeah. I just don't think the margins are close enough for us to just rely on the cavalry in this battle. Okay, we've used up a decent amount of our ammunition, especially on the Scythicon. I really need to hit the Pope, though. Oh, they still have a Pavis Crossbowman Militia, right. See, this one's in loose formation, kind of, and that is making it more difficult for us to hit it. I need to get in closer and aim for the actual Pope. Now, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever if he turns around and starts chasing us, because we could isolate him from the rest of the army. Even if all the cavalry came ch chasing after us, that would be fine. We are getting some damage in on him. We have also don't have the high ground anymore. Yeah, they're coming to the our guys over here. Another thing with horse archers, as they shoot, they will get more tired, rather than just running around all the time. These guys here should be mostly fresh, so it's going to be more difficult for me to react. Okay, here we go. Change. Something's happening here. They have changed tactics. Okay. Alright, stop for a second. They can still see our units. There's no, like, um, hiding behind hills in this. You have to hide in a forest if you want to do something like that. Maybe just wait up here on the high ground just for a moment. And let's just see what they're... No, they've changed back to that. Okay. okay, that's fine. Just keep reacting to it. I guess they're confused because we're doing something that they don't expect. Problem is, now we're shooting up a hill a little bit. We definitely don't want to use this formation. Because it massively slows us down and gets us exhausted straight away. Best case scenario for us is for the General's Bodyguard to chase after us. It's what we want. But, is he actually going to do it? I think that Pavi's crossbowman is actually shooting into our troops here. I can't stop it. Unless this one goes around there and charges into them, which I don't think it bothered shooting. Okay, that's good. 
Alright, stop. We don't want to be shooting at Italian militia like this. That's a waste. I've barely killed any of the General's Bodyguard. That's not good. If we were to charge with all of our forces against this General's Bodyguard, it would absolutely wreck us. Okay, he recovered all of his fatigue. And yeah, we're starting to run low on ammo. But we are definitely getting casualties in on them. Alright, here comes another charge. Hopefully it does fairly well. Hmm. It was alright. It wasn't fantastic, but at least it was for free. Okay, that... Is that the Pope's Guard? Yeah, I think it is. They're all bloody. Yeah, okay, that's the Pope. Good, good. Okay, we're good in my slate. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, looks like we're going to have an issue here. Our guy is fresh, though, so we should be able to be at the same speed. Come on, move faster. Unfortunately, in Medieval 2, units are just really friggin' unresponsive. <laughs> it's, it's can be frustrating. Come on, move in here. We're gonna have to shoot the him in the back. King is slain. Oh shit, that was now, quick. The enemy, but that was no less dead for All right, you can charge into his rear then. Because yeah, their morale's about to go to shit, and we got him. That was very lucky. We must have got him with a whole bunch of arrows. All right, they're sending the cavalry in here, and that's fine. It's exactly what we wanted them to do. Hopefully, they send. I oh, know they're gonna send General's bodyguard over here. Um. Okay, some of our units are out of ammo. So just running them down to make sure they don't rally, obviously. Dangerous bloody unit. Uh, did that actually rout it? Well, we did kill the enemy general. Alright, need you guys to get over here. I need you get into a better formation and I need this guy to get around this unit and charge into the rear while these guys hold the line I might be able to keep them on the battlefield and get a nice big charge in on them okay problem here no problem here is that this guy is probably faster than our guys even though we're light cavalry essentially they're fucking exhausted Only intervention by the Almighty Lord. Shut up, advisor. We're doing well. <laughs> so the balance of power has been improving. Five to thirty-five percent, uh, thirty-seven percent, whatever. Come on, guys. Just thin him out a little bit. All the ammunition can be used on this general. If we can sort him out, the rest of this should be fairly easy. All right, charge in. All in against this guy. I reckon we can rout him. Yep, by just using overwhelming numbers, we broke him. Cool. Okay, you need to get moving over here. We can see our guys are holding reasonably well. Don't worry about that anymore. Let's get moving. Okay, no, don't worry about that. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Can't you see what's about to happen, you dipshit? <laughs> Can't you see what's about to bloody happen here? Rolling him up like carpet. Yeah, there you go. From such tidings does victory emerge.
It is unwise to praise the day before some run down as many of them as we can, but because we're on the edge of the map, the enemy are badly blooded. It's going to be difficult to catch more. Half their men. And we just need 85% in order to wipe out the entire army. We might actually manage it. That was a nice route. Really nice route. This this here did exactly what I wanted them to do. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. I think we only got the... I don't think we got the other general. I think I let him get away. So that means the rest of this army here. 85% doesn't make any difference. They're, they're still going to get away. Because you have to kill both generals. But they are so badly beaten that there is no way they're going to put up a fight again. That being said, if they don't have a friendly region to go to, it doesn't matter what percentage. They just won't be able to get away. The enemy are overcome. This I'm is pretty happy with those results, and I'm fairly sure only that uh, the person who sent this in will be pretty happy with that as well. Hmm. Yes, you know that we can pay. Oh, yes, Lord. Please release us. No, you don't have to do this. Hmm. Yes, Lord. Think of the man. Dear God, no. Please. Yes, you know that we can pay. <laughs> it was. I was never really even entertaining the idea in my head. I just wanted them to beg for it. <laughs> okay, so they all died anyway because they had nowhere to go. So it didn't matter how many we captured. In fact, maybe if we had ransomed them, they still would have died. Uh, it's a bit of a weird situation with that. Hard to say what the right call would have been, but at least you've gained some precious, precious dread, which is really good. You also could have hired some mercenaries, but at the end of the day, it didn't really matter, because your army managed to cope with that. Alright, cool. Well, that sorted that disaster battle out. Your campaign looks like it's going slow, but, you know, this is coming from me, so don't take that too harshly, because, you know, I blitzed this crap. But anyway... Um, love this game. Hopefully we get some more disasters and I hope you guys have enjoyed this disaster battle But I don't think this is a disaster campaign, so I don't think I need to do anything more here Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Later guys